What's up, folks? It's your boy back here in downtown Norfolk. Uh, you're ready to go hit up another Mac and Cheese Fest. If you didn't see that one for uh, Richmond, it'll probably be linked at the end of this video. This one here is in Waterside, back over here. Uh, the list of things you get, which we'll put it right here. Uh, seems to be a lot better than the Richmond one. So we're trying to get there uh, for open. We might be a little bit late. Uh, the light rail took a little bit, a little bit of time to get there. But they have like an all-you-can-eat mac and cheese for the first two hours, and you get like some cheese fries and other stuff. So we're gonna check it out. Hopefully, it's better. It was a lot cheaper too. What was it? Fifty dollars a ticket, I think. Fifty-five. 50, some somewhere around there. So cheaper than the one that we uh, did in Richmond. But we'll check it out and uh, let you know how it is. All right, we're here now. Uh, so far, so good. We got a little bit of a, some goodies here. We got a little, little mac and cheese festival, uh, janks, aprons. Here's some of our tasting tickets. We've used three already. Uh, so the, all you can eat, you use these up and then you get more, apparently. And then they're no good after two o'clock. So they gave us a couple little other swaggies here. Got a little macaroni and cheese utensil kit here. Got our drink tickets right there you get four of them and then we got a uh, a little voucher for a fry as well pretty neat little little gimmick so so far we're starting off a lot better than the richmond one yeah. so we got a little cup of fries here and then we got some, some um got some samples here we got a chicken we got a little like a a little chicken chipotle mac and cheese we've got a mexican street corn one right there and then we have a chorizo one, right there. Yeah. So, so far so good. All right, let's 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 try to dig in here. Let's try this Mexican street corn one. It's gonna be a mess, I already know it. Ow, I bit my cheek. Pretty good. Try the chicken chipotle. Eh. Who said they take the drink drink ticket to the bar? I doubt it. It's pretty good. I didn't see any voting stuff though. So I don't know about that. Here's the chorizo. This is the chorizo. Check that out. I think we found a hack. So, she went up to the bar behind us, the Blue Moon Bar, which right here behind us is also a little stage area. They do like national recording artists here. Uh, Third Eye Blind was here, Weezer was here, a few other folks have been here, but she went to the bar and asked if they take the drink tickets, and she said yes, and they actually get cocktails. So we're actually getting a couple crushes for the little drink tickets. So already, yeah, these are, these, this is a lot better. I can get four crushes and those are probably like seven dollars a piece so I do the math there we're pretty much gonna get our money's worth this <coughs> I'm dying I'm dying help me here money's worth this one this one's way better than the fucking Richmond one way better way better than the Richmond I gotta tell you walking right up got it so they got <laughs> They got a mac and cheese spring roll here, just like the last one. I asked her if they were at the last one. She said she wasn't. Uh, mac and cheese ball. And then this is a Thai, I think she said Thai sausage. It's probably gonna be spicy, so we're gonna, we're gonna check her face when she drinks it. And a, one is orange, one is pineapple. And a crush for a drink ticket. Yeah, way better, way better. It's much better. And there's more booths. So there's as many booths probably out here next to us than there was at the Richmond one. And there's still some out front as well. So we could actually hide out back here and just eat all these while we're here and not have to go out front anymore. That's it. Until everybody else can walk back up. What is that? I just placed everything and you just moved it. I'm just... I 
hopefully nobody else discovers back here until later, obviously. All right, there's a big old, big old bottle of this sausage here. Big old chunk of it. Let's try that. It kind of just tastes like Italian sausage, almost. It's not bad. It kind of almost looks like beefaroni, though, if you like look at it. Oh, yeah, homeboy's right there with the fryer, cooking them up. He's got three fryers out there, he's cooking everything up. He ain't messing around. So the logo kind of looks, I guess it's not really the same logo, but... Whoever's doing this mac and cheese fest needs to do the one in Richmond. I should probably much better. <laughs> You're sweeter. We should be as warm as tools. We got a little bit of ranch at the bottom there. So we're gonna dip that in there, try this out. Oh, it's leaking. Oh. That is so ooey gooey. Hold it. Okay. Right there. Macaroni and cheese egg roll. I'm gonna go to that birria place next. I like that they put this here so you, you can eat it when it falls out. So you use all your tickets? We're just, we're, we're, I mean, we're just getting it. Look at this, right here. Went right down there, got it. We got some Gouda, some veggies, some smokehouse. And then we got a little bit of like Mexican style here. Whole bunch of stuff. Did they give you a fork? No. But we don't need one because we have. Do you have No. See if you can get something from her. Did you get it from that? Huh? Did you get it from that first one? Hey, might as well take your tickets and go to your time and just. No, I'll just get it when you run. Bow! Checking this out here. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff here. I'm not sure what's what. There was like a, a chicken, barbecue chicken one. I think that's this one. We got some smokehouse, a little bit of pulled pork. That's good, that one's good. I like that one. This one, I'm not sure what this one is. It's got, it looks like some ranch on there. I think it's the vegetable one. It's got spinach and corn on it. Not too bad. Oh, look up forks. Bam. This is probably the Gouda. The Gouda one. Oh look, it's even got a little. Stick a lot of cool. Not a lot of cheese flavor in that one, but it's not bad. And then this is the Mexican style. Okay, that's pretty decent. That one's my favorite though, the barbecue one. Smokehouse. That one's delicious. That's the, uh, did you try the smokehouse one? Yes. Do you like that one? I did. I like that, that one. That did you try the Mexican one? Not yet. This one's like Chipotle chicken. So where do we get new tickets at? There's a ticket booth right in front. Oh, I gotta go all the way back there. Oh, sorry. Right. I 
your favorite one? Didn't mean to have another one of that one. I can't believe the night and day experience here with the one in Richmond and this one. It's kind of, it's ridiculous. That's what I was saying with the VIP. We should have had all you can eat, at least for the first couple of hours. Weird that we did. Or at least more tickets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the only thing we really got, I really don't feel like we got really anything much with the VIP there that we did here. Yeah. Other than two hours extra. But it was packed though. This right here is not packed. Like, as you can see, there's really nobody around me. Like, even there, there's an entire... Here, I'll show you right here. There's no one... There's no one near me right now. Like, even has like, a kid's playhouse area. Yeah, there's a kid's playhouse area behind us as well. A little bounce house, that kind of thing. And it's a beautiful view right here on the water as well. You can't beat that. Instead of being in a warehouse at the Richmond Raceway. Freezing cold. Yeah, it was cold in there. It was supposed to be cold here, but it's not. It's so and, tough. And I'm wearing a sweater. <laughs> you don't wear a t-shirt, is it? I got a woolly sweater. All right. Got three more. And it's only been 35 minutes into it. We're going to be full by the time we're done here. We're going to go home and take a nap. Yeah. All right, so we got some, we got a bunch of different ones. We got some, uh, we got some barbecue. I think that's this one. We got some jerk chicken. And then we got your standard Mac right here. So that was from Jerk Time over there. That was from uh, from Charlotte. Damn, I can't remember their names now. Rhonda. I just said them too. Sunshine. I think it was Charlotte, Sunshine, and Rhonda. They told me to come over there and film them. Uh -oh. So yeah, we got these here. We're gonna try these out. What do you get some napkins? What's yours? Oh, I got some napkins. Why'd you stuff napkins on top of my fork? All right, let's try this right quick. Let's try the jerk chicken one. Let's try this jerk's chicken. Two thousand years later. Cheesy. All right, here we go. I think that's... Yeah. Yeah. You said she gave me a little extra piece. On top, too. There we go. Nice and sweet. Go away, Clyde. Go away. I like landed on my hand and I'm sweeting it. Didn't I eat my baby? There's your standard mac and cheese here. A little bit of pepper on it. Mm. You try that one already? Right? Really that one. That was good. That was good. Nice and sweet. That one's pretty good too. A little barbecue. That'd be interesting, like, just mix those together and try it. Probably tastes real good. Mm. Pull it down. So if you're not from this area, and you're interested in coming to this area, this would be downtown Norfolk. This whole area you see behind me. This right here is Waterside. Uh, it used to be a nice little cool family place. We used to come all the time. Then it kind of got a little bit barry and clubby. And then they tore it down and they built this right here. So full of restaurants, concerts. They're always doing events here. Of course, this time it's the Mac and Cheese Fest, but they got events here all the time. There's restaurants and bars literally from right here, 10 feet away from me, all the way down like a football field all the way down. In the whole back of this is bars, and as you can see, it's a nice day outside. You can sit outside, chill. They got music going on. They have like a pavilion thing over there that has... Huh? They have like that stage right there that they do concerts on. Yeah, there's a small stage here they do concerts on. I think Taking Back Sunday was was uh, there one time. 
and then they'll do this one as a stage sometimes as well. So we actually watched Weezer back here during the grand opening. It's kind of cool to see a bunch of 50-year-olds try to act like, you know, 20-year-olds again. How do you do, fellow kids? What? I'd never seen Weezer live, so it was pretty interesting. Look, he ain't coming to fuck around. He got that thing landed it right to the apron. Oh, man. <laughs> He's like, bam. All right, that's all of those. Shall we get more? Why not? All right, give me your tickets. Give me your wicked tickets. All right, so we got four more janks to try. These, these are, this is a duplicate, that's why. So this is like the tater tot mac and cheese. It's got some kind of sauce on it. Um, we also got some jerk chicken and some, uh, some smokehouse mac. Some regular Mac. We got. We are, we are just killing it over here, man. I'm, <laughs> this is ridiculous. And a little little tater totter there. There you go. You get your own. Oh, you got two tater tots. We well, yeah, they they had other stuff on there, but those aren't available till two. That was good. And with that, another crush. All right, let's try this one here. They're like so surprised when I go up and they're like, which one do you want? I'm like, I'll take all three. And they're like, oh, okay. Like they're all like surprised. All right, a couple, a couple few more samples here. We got some from Cups Up. Uh, they're a local food truck around here, famous for putting all kinds of stuff in cups. Turkey legs and macaroni and cheese, all kinds of stuff. So we got two different ones. We got the jerk and then we got the little, the, like the sweet sauce. And then we got this one from Plancha Vida. A couple different uh, Mexican style ones here. Some pork belly. And... All right, let's try this one here. This is that spiral mac and cheese noodles. This one looks super creamy. Right there. Because it is. Barbecue sauce, very sweet. A little bit of tang there. Pretty good. Let's try the other one. Here's one from Planche Vida. Not a whole lot in this cup. This is the Chili Mac. That's what this one is. The Chili Mac. I don't know if you're a fan of Chili Mac or not. Me? Yeah. Come on, this is a smoked pork belly. And we still have an hour left. See how much we got in one single hour of being here? We have enough time. We still got two drink tickets each, right, don't we? No, two, just two. Yeah. Four. Four each. Yeah, so eight. So we've had one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, we do have two. Math is hard. All right, so we have a Macaroni pizza. I was corrected. I call it a macaroni and cheese pizza. And I was corrected that it's a macaroni pizza. <laughs> Even though there's cheese on it. So that was from Kogan's. That's a local pizza joint. You can check them out. They got some pretty good pizza. The hangover. I don't know if it's still on the menu, but the hangover is delicious. I substituted one of the ingredients for jalapenos. Oh, it's so, so good. These are little mac and cheese bites. One of them is like jalapeno, and I can't remember what the other one is. I think it's the jalapeno one. I see a little jalapeno on the corner, and I can't remember what that one is, but... We also have from, what is this place? This is Stripers, another restaurant here in town, in the area. Uh, it's right here actually in Waterside. We have lobster and we have bacon jalapeno. So I believe this is the lobster because I can see a little piece of lobster hanging off right there. But we're gonna try these ones here. I think that's pretty good, it's gonna be it for us after that. So I will let the little lady have the first bite of the pizza. You're done? You can't eat anything else? Wow. So I'm just gonna say and look like a fat ass. Looks like a nice bread. 
It is a nice bread, but she won't know because she's not going to eat it. Give me a little bite. Just a little one. I can never resist. Apron. Quite a bit of these little things. Huh? They kind of look like the ones you would get from Burger King. Here's the lobster mac from Stripers. She said it'd probably be another 10 15 minutes before it came out, but as I was getting that one, it came out. Yep, you definitely taste that, that lobster. You can definitely taste the lobster. The bacon jalapeno. And let's try one of these jacks. That's your standard mac and cheese bite. These probably would have been good with a little bit of ranch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I needed sauce or something. But man, we are stuck. I'll probably be right back in a minute. All right, well, we hope we enjoyed all those mac and cheeses. That was quite a lot, so many places. Um, I might try and go by and write down all the places that we tried, and then we'll try and link them down below. Matter of fact, I told the ladies I was gonna go over there and film them. They wanted me to come film them. So I'm gonna go over here and film them, because they wanted me to. So let's go over there first before we, uh, before we uh, sorry. Well, we sign out, and uh, maybe they'll do a little catchphrase. Think they'll do the catchphrase for us? Let's see. She told me to come back. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, she right. said to come back yeah, and film. Yeah, now we're here. <laughs> we're filming now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at the cheesy <laughs> mats. So far, you're our number one. That's just magic. That's just magic. Oh, you two. Okay. I did Okay. I had two as well. Come on out to the macaroni festival. Yeah. So, uh, so this is Jerk Time Proving Cuisine, right? Where can we find Where can they find you at? There's a uh, flyer right there. There's right a here. flyer. Yep, right here, South Plaza Trail, Virginia Beach, Virginia. South Plaza Trail, Virginia Beach, Virginia. It's not too far. So you a food driver? Oh, okay, what's your page? Yeah. Uh, Trippin' ain't easy. Trippin' ain't easy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we do catering. Okay, well, we need to do a little video for it. We're we are already on video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, Trippin' so, ain't easy. That's so I, was, I was getting ready to sign off and be dumb, and I was like, oh, I forgot to go to But my sign off phrase is. Trippin' ain't easy, but it sure is fun. Uh, yeah. So if y'all want to say that through the sign-off, yeah, okay, you know. okay. All right, so with that, we're going to go ahead and end this vlog. But as always, Trippin' ain't easy, but it sure is fun. Jerk time, yeah. yeah.